I'm out here on Greenfield Lake in Wilmington, North Carolina. Dead calm, flat water, great place to test whether a two-blade is better than a three-bladed trolling motor prop. Stay tuned. If you're like me, you want to get the most out of your trolling motor that you possibly can. So when I saw that there was a three-bladed prop available for my Newport trolling motor, I said, what the heck, I'll invest some of the tens of dollars I make here on YouTube, buy one, test it, and then you guys will know whether it's worth, worth your investment as well. And then we'll test the two-blade and the three-blade prop at different speeds. And if my load meter works, we'll be able to assess the electrical draw of each because I did read that the three blade prop, even though it allegedly pushes out more thrust, it also consumes more power. So let's find out and then we'll come back and I'll summarize everything for you because you don't need to spend the time watching me do these tests. I've got all the data. Let me get back to the shop and I'll assemble it in a table where we can all easily understand it and draw some conclusions. These are really startling results. I did not expect to see this. It's obvious that just sticking with the two-bladed prop is better than the three-blade. The three-blade consumes 26 amps at speed five versus only 21.97 at speed five on the two-blade and I'm only gaining a tenth of a mile an hour. Now granted, these results are based on my kayak, its weight and its configuration. Your results may be a little bit different, but for me, I'm just gonna pop that three blade off and stick with the two blade. What do you guys think? Have you seen different results? If you have, throw your comments down below. Thanks.